up welcome back today i am having some sushi lovers welcome back to the reese cup gang gang that's who that's on her all right y'all i got some coke right here to drink i have a bag full of goodies here from the seafood lovers it is a sushi uh place i got frogs out there going off outside I ain't, like they, ain't, they haven't been out there in a minute. Now they're out there making all that noise. But anywho, I'm going to start for the prayer. We're going to put this stuff on the table and we're going to dig in. Amen, amen again. I know y'all hear them out there. They're actually a fool. Yes, they are. A true fool. I have, let me tell y'all what I got. I got some California rolls, uh, salmon lover sushi, salmon avocado, shrimp cucumbers, Philadelphia rolls, and some yum yum sauce. And that thing came up to $55.45. Your girl was just going in. And I got a little salad they gave me on the side. I made that salad though. Cause that salad uh, and that sauce is so good when you get it. So, guess what? Let me eat it. Hold on. They go to salmon, some salmon rolls. Shrimp. No, it's not shrimp. It is the salmon, avocado, or is this the salmon lover sushi? It might be that. Oh yeah, salmon, avocado, and then they got the Philadelphia rolls because they got the little cream cheese in and all that stuff. Now let's put it all together. So, hold on. and then this is probably the. This is the. Shrimp. Yep. The shrimp cucumber. There you go. Hold on, my house phone is ringing. Hold on. All right, y'all. I'm back. I had a phone call. So I told you everything I had. I got some yum yum sauce too. Did I put it out yet? Nope. I got some yum yum sauce. They came with it. And the sushi lovers. They gave me my little chopsticks. So I'm going to use my chopsticks right here. I'm going to use their chopsticks. See what it's all about. See, they got the little, break them apart. And use theirs. But anywho, maybe I should eat my salad first. Maybe I'll start off with that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to open everything up. Because y'all need to see all, everything. Look at everything. Y'all, I'm so, I was so upset about this. Ooh. Show I just saw on True Crimes. And I guess you can't watch all True Crimes shows on just regular TV. You gotta do, uh, go on, who was it? I went on Amazon, yeah, Amazon Prime and I was able to look at their videos on there because you had to do a trial, all that stuff to get it for seven days. So, which <laughs> I'm gonna watch it all and then my sixth day, I'm gonna cancel it. Yes, I am. I'm gonna cancel it. Yep. The frogs are going off out there. But I'm gonna cancel it because. I pay a lot on Prime already. And then they're going to charge me for a video stuff thing too. I already paid for video, but now they're going to charge me for extra channels. It's like Comcast. Like, no. 
You're not doing it to me. I'm going to watch those free videos. Tell y'all about them. And then my sixth day, which you got seven days and then this, uh, you would cancel it. I'm going to cancel it because I'm not with all that. But I'm definitely telling y'all about the story that I saw today that really caught my eye. Look at this salad. Uh, excuse me. The frog is acting up. You know, we got a pond outside too, so. And they stay around. Mm. And not just for the pond. They be all over the yard. Mm. The salad and the sauce be so good. The only thing they got in is lettuce, a little like shaved carrots. Mm. One cucumber and the sauce. That's it in the sauce. Mm. Mm -mm. A lot of people be like, I don't eat sushi because it's raw and not. Let me tell you one thing. I try everything. And guess what? When we leave from here, I'm not gonna be glorified because I ain't designed that. When it's just time to go, it's just time to go. I promise you. I promise you. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. I eat. I do whatever I want to do. Like it's my last day on earth. Cause you never know. You never know. A lot of people be like, I don't know. I can't do this. I can't do that. But guess what? For me, you won't never Who me say I ain't do this and I ain't do that. I used to get on ride at amusement parks. All that stuff. I won't do it now, but I did it. I did it. I never said I didn't do it. I did a bunch of stuff that I thought I would never do. Just to do it. I'm living my best life while I'm here. I'm getting old. Oh, where? I'm 40 years old. I am. 40 where? Who 40? Anyhow. 40 years old, you start looking, you're looking younger. And that's on pirate. I'm about to eat. Which one? This is the shrimp cucumber. Look. The shrimp cucumber. I think I'm going to dip it in the yum yum sauce. Mmm. So yummy. Yummy, yummy for my tummy.
Look, I don't want to spill. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so good. I need to put some um ginger. A little spicy sauce. Oh, yeah. Let me put some on there. Yeah, I'm talking about what sauce I'm talking about. I can't even think right now. Mm. 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 And if y'all hear the noise in the background, I think it's my son blowing up something, doing something. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yep, that's it. Oh, wasabi. Oh, oh. Goodness gracious! I think it's hot. So now I'm gonna do the. Which one is this? Maybe it's just the sound, my lovers. Because it's not a shrimp cucumber. Because it's got more stuff in here. Yep. Sound, my lovers. Oh. I'm about to ask my son to try one of these. He probably like raw fish and stuff like that. But not here. Nasir? Papa? Sometimes he tends to ignore me. I say, I didn't hear you. Nasir? You want to try one of these? Okay. Eat sushi? Like sushi? Which one you want to try? Uh, the one that doesn't have the avocado on it. The one that don't have avocado on it? Yes. Alright, try this one. Want sauce in it? Uh, no. What, what about this one? Yum yum sauce. <laughs> yum yum, uh, yeah. A little bit of yum yum sauce. Okay. Okay. Ooh! This is good. Let's take it off. It's good. Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. He likes it. <laughs> oh, Kurt. But he didn't want no, nothing with avocado went. I don't know why. Don't, like, my daughter don't, he don't like avocado. My daughter don't like, my daughter don't like tomatoes. Like, and I always cook with all that. I don't like it. That's their law. And guess what I did? I still cook with it. They don't eat it. They don't eat it. I knew they just didn't like it just because they don't like it. I mean, they had no legitimate reasons why they don't like it. But it's because they were allergic to it. Sometimes I mix stuff and they wouldn't even notice it. Something like, they'll eat it. And we alright with it. Alright, this is a Philadelphia roll. With the cream cheese in it. Mm. 
I'm still not work tonight. I'm gonna do it all the time. All right, which one is this? Um, maybe this is something lover. Mm. Ah. It's crazy because they put them together. I don't know why. Alright, y'all, so I watched this true crime TV show. Which was really good. Mm. It was about this couple named Tashika. And Alonzo. They had a baby together. They separated and didn't last. So. Mm. One day, Alonzo decided I'm going to go to my baby mama house because she was supposed to put my son up and she didn't. She never picked him up. So I'm going to go in and see what's going on. Look at this. So when he went there, he found so she could lay it out on the floor. He called 911. He was a little dramatic, extra, and they start investigating like, I want to know why was he so dramatic. Why was he extra? Nobody don't know how you're supposed to grieve. Nobody. I already knew that's my son about to leave out and resolve. There's a dog behind him. Mmm. Mm. The regular salmon. So, once he found her, the Texas is on him. On the lines were like, okay, you found her. They had to tell the family. So they had to tell the family something like, they had to find a, um, somebody who did it. Once they kept coming after Alonzo. Like, why were you asking me to ask them? Or was you at the night of the happening? We told them, as with my girl. Other girl, I stayed at her house, and, and that was it. I didn't do anything else. But I couldn't find out. His new girl said she went to sleep, they were together, and then she woke up, he was there. But she said she knew he left, left for at least two hours. So it was inconsistencies in their history. So once she told them that, they told them to do a polygraph test, all that stuff, and polygraph, and come up that they he failed it. He failed the polygraph. So, of course, 
the detectives and everybody looking at him like, this is our man. He did it. He still stuck by his word that he did not do it. Still stuck by it. So, once that happened, he had scratches underneath his arm and his back, all that stuff. He told him it was from my sex with his girl. So, when the detectives went after her, she was like, I'm not sure. If I scratched him, you know, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? She told me she wasn't sure. Because you know who scratched my eye when you. But she told me she wasn't sure. So that's what made it look suspicious. Now, since he fell his polygraph, um, his girlfriend said, show me you know, the scratch came from her. They arrested him and put him in jail. He still swearing to himself like he never did. The DNA test that they took came back later on. It didn't match him. They had to release him. So the family was heartbroken like they thought that it was him. Now, mind y'all, the grandma, which was Tashika's mother, was taking a little boy up there to still see the uh, father at the prison. She still was taking him up there because she wanted him to see his father. See ya. Have a good night at work. So she was still taking him to see his father. So, out of nowhere, the test results came back. Uh, came back under her fingernails. Mind you, I can tell you about this orange juice gel that was sitting on her counter when, um, they went and found her. They did DNA results and all that stuff. Hold on. I had a call. But they did DNA results and found out that the kid's dad the son's dad ain't had to do it. <clears throat> Nothing at all. But on that orange juice jug, they had a different man on there, a different person on there, and they, they can never figure out who it was. So they had to let him go. And they let the baby dad go because he ain't had nothing to do with it. But because the way he was acting, like you could never tell because of the way somebody's acting. You know what I'm saying? How they react to death. If they're guilty or not. You might cry for a little bit. And then go and close it and cry the rest. Like Some people don't even cry at the funeral. And they cry when it's all over. And be so hurt. Like, even some people don't cry at the point where they cook because they cry before it so much. You can never tell someone how to mourn. Never. I guess these detectives learned that. So. Once they had to release Alonzo, the baby's father, Tashika's baby father, because it was not his fingerprints, none of that was on anything. Then 
a while later, years later, they got a hit to where someone tried to go get a job at a post office, a federal job. Uh, that hit came back to them like ASAP. Mm -hmm. He came back like, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can we talk to you for a minute? Sir, sir, sir. So when they talked to him, he was all witty, witty at first. Like, oh, I don't know what y'all talking about. I didn't do anything. I didn't have anything. It was like, what are you talking about? Like, so once they told him they had their fing his fingerprints, he, he didn't want to hear the shit they had to say. Like, <laughs> if you ain't arresting me, I don't got shit to say to y'all. Like, and that's on period. So they was like, okay. All right. They already had your DNA evidence. Like, you was, you did the shit. So they arrested him, cuffed him up. Period. He went to a uh, jail. Now, the family couldn't actually take another heartbreak. They was like, no, we can't actually go through this again. We can't. So, once they end up taking him to court, he did his little thing. He went, he wanted to take the trial because he kept saying, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. I didn't do, I didn't do this shit. But guess what? He went to trial six hours later. Not two, three, four, six hours later. They found his ass guilty. Guilty. First degree murder. I guess they give him life in prison because guess what? He was so mad. And I know I should have told y'all this prior to it, but I wanted to surprise y'all at the end. He was so mad that he killed Tashika because his girlfriend, which was Tashika's friend, Lisa, they worked together. Like, they got really, really close. They worked together. And Tashika, Lisa was cheating on him with some other guy. Some other guy. She was cheating on him with another guy. So, how can Tashika stop her from cheating on him? Because she don't know what's going on. That's her friend. She's going to back her up regardless. So, Tashika supported her friend. He ended up coming. Richard ended up coming to Tashika house asking her, where is Lisa? He knows she's cheating on him. Like, call her, set her up, do this and that. So she was like, I don't know where she at. I don't know what you're talking about. She still went and set her friend up. Like, that was her good friend. Like, why would she set her up for this nigga that she don't even know? Which was Richard. So Richard got so upset that he ended up strangling her. Like, strangling her. Like, and it, take a, it takes a strong person and a mad person to strangle somebody so long to where the the point they killed them. He strangled her so bad and killed her. So once he strangled her and killed her, he left her there. And then when the baby father, Alonzo came over there, wanted to figure out like, where's she at? She was supposed to come get my son. She never came, came and showed up and he started acting different. And once he found her, he called 911 and he didn't know how to react like, because he ain't used to that shit. Like, people ain't used to that. Like, he ain't used to come finding their loved ones dead and on the floor and all that stuff. And and plus, he got his baby with him. Like, why would he want to kill his baby mother? Like, I can say if he wanted to, but this time he didn't want to. And he called the cops and called 911. And he just was in uproar. Like, he just showed a side that they didn't expect to see from him. In which he got found not guilty. Of that side, they put him in jail, everything. He did time for something that he didn't do. So, once the fingerprints came back to Richard, and they ended up finding out the story of why Richard was so into, like, they, they were trying to figure out, like, why didn't Richard's girlfriend come up immediately and let them know what happened? Like, why she didn't come up and say, look it to him because... He probably did it because he was after us. Like, he was making threatening messages, all this stuff. But she was scared of him. So, she, didn't, of course, she didn't say nothing. She was scared. But once they found her fingerprints DNA and the jury found him guilty, she came out and started speaking on everything that happened. 
she was cheating on him with another guy and he wasn't having it but he thought her best friend her closest friend Tashika was supposed to tell him where she was at what was going on who she was making love with all that stuff so he can go in there and kill her best friend be on her conscience and the, the good the dude but she never told her she just went down and let him kill her after he killed Tashika which ain't had nothing to do with it he went in her refrigerator and drank her orange juice took the orange juice out and with his bare hands and drunk it drunk out of the bottle and sat on the countertop and left like he didn't just kill her that's how he ended up getting caught up and guess what he got life in prison which he deserved which he deserved he'll never deserve to see the, the light of the day like you killed her because your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, which she left you, was with somebody else. She want to be with you no more. Matter of fact, I don't know if she's ex-girlfriend or she was cheating, whatever. They said she was cheating. But she want to be with you no more. But you killed somebody else. They had nothing to do with it. She had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. But you killed her. Why? Why? See, that's, that's why that domestic shit, like even when... The cops come and they try to arrest people for domestic violence stuff. They're scared them because guess what? A lot of cops are getting killed because they responded to domestic incidents. Because they don't care. Once you're trying to take them away from their lovers, nobody want to hear that shit. Like, nobody wants to hear it. And that is the cause of all the drama. All the drama. Yo. I'm about to let y'all go because... This shit got to me like it is so serious. Like it goes on every day, every day. Why can't you just let somebody walk out of that relationship? Like once y'all done, y'all done. You ain't gotta kill that person. If you want somebody to die, kill. Like if you if you want to kill somebody, let yourself go. If you don't want to, if you don't want to be here, like think about it. Oh, I might as well just take my own life. And why would you take somebody else's life, a life that wants to be here? Why? Once you're taking, you're taking two lives away, not that one, because guess what? You're going to prison for the rest of your life and they are, they're, they're just gone and they're leaving all their family, their loved ones, the people who care about them the most. They're, even though you have people that care about you, like, why are you making two families like, like mourn? Why? And, and, and like hurt so bad. Like, why would you do that to people? Like. I learned so much like it's crazy I saw so much I saw family members friends people like associates like I saw people just me working in this field like I saw a lot of shit that happened that shouldn't have happened like why I sometimes I'm like why and why did I work in this field like why why the fuck did why did that happen why did this happen like, they should have, they had so many different avenues. Like, why? I was asking myself why, but you can't. You can't. Because God has the final say. Like, he always want to, he always has the final say. He always do. It's your time to go. You're going to go. It's your time to go. It's definitely your time to go. Like, I just don't understand. You don't understand. I don't understand. We don't understand. Nobody understands. But guess what? If it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Because you can go out there and a major accident. Like, it could be like a, a accident where your car flip, flip, flip six times. Six or seven times and a car hits you. Boom, bust the flames. But guess what? You fly out of the car and you still live. Guess what? It wasn't your time. But the person who was quiet and said, a five-year-old, there was, and guess what? They're gone. Like, it's just, sometimes I question, like, why? Why? Like, I, I still don't understand why sometimes. I don't. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't understand why sometimes. But, like I said, God has the mind. I'm saying, when it's your time, it's going to be your time, and you will know it. Matter of fact, you won't even know it because it's going to it's gonna be gone. It's definitely going to be gone. But your loved ones will see it. Everyone else was it. You can't change that. You definitely can't change it. 
But anyway, y'all, I talk long enough on here. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely turn on those post notifications so you know when you're going to upload the next video. Because I'm talking about some real shit. And this is, this is real stuff, like, it's real stuff. This stuff that happens daily, on a daily basis. And I hate it. And there's nothing we can do about it. But guess what? I'm going to speak upon it, and that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you know my girl will load her next video. Until next time, see ya.